Hey guys, Adobe has just confirmed that they are officially working on their own AI that will be integrated in the product. So that will be something built in into all of the Adobe software or most of it. And the thing is, Adobe also owns something called Adobe Stock. So they got licensed to hundreds of thousands of images. So in that case, this AI will be leaping into their own, you can say, library. So that will be definitely something legal that you can use in your commercial work. That's something that is right now really shady with some of those AI generators that will be totally legal and crystal clear for the one from adobe so that's a huge for creators and the thing is they will make this leap they will jump away from our affordable or free alternatives right now the alternative software is better and better it's closer and closer to what adobe offers right and if they manage to pull this off to add this super helpful assistant into the products that will help you to generate images help you to select elements recolor images that will be super handy because we don't need more tools right now we got really capable tools what we need is uh, something that help us to save time speed up the process right so that's really valuable for us right now take a look into some of those uh, demos so ai generating uh, additional section of the background right based on existing background that's super helpful that seems like very natural evolution for uh, editing software and now they are already testing it so they already got it it's not something they're announcing that they're going to work on they've been working on this in shadows and they are almost ready to release that so that's huge news this will be a huge win for adobe and i don't see any alternative right now there are some open ai engines right so this can be integrated in some of those other programs like affinity photo photo p or gimp but it will take a time and if there are some open source projects that will be never as good plus as i mentioned adobe is tapping into their own stock libraries so that's something they can control from the source they can make sure that this ai will only use a legal pictures all right so that's that's huge Look at some of those examples they post on the website. It's it's really great. If it's actually from the <laughs> generator itself, as they promised, that would be huge. And it seems like it's already in beta tests, all right? So they are kind of ready to invite us to join the beta test. And as you know, while we are using this tool they will be gathering even more data that will be used to train this ai it will be even better so it's really really interesting they name it adobe firefly if you search for adobe firefly they will take you to this better website when you can see some examples as you know the cool thing to do right now is to use this text to image there's some free engines that can do that and of course this will be one of the features here but not only they can apply some text effects for you they can recolor vectors as they promise and we already got some uh, little of the smart ai selection tools that are already in use in like photoshop so the photoshop can detect who's in the image this person background dog and you can select that one object or one person with this AI selection help. Actually, in my last video, I've been complaining about is that those alternative programs not come with any of form of the AI selection and stuff like that. And it seems like that taking this to another level with this Adobe Firefly. So I encourage you guys to actually explore this for yourself. This is really, really interesting. Even if you are not a big fan of Adobe, like I am not. <laughs> we cannot ignore this this will be a definitely a huge leap for a creative software and like always one company will lead the way and hopefully other companies will follow 
As you can see in this uh, demo role here, we got some uh, really creative use of this AI. So not only by, for generating and totally new images, but also like modifying existing one and changing the mood of the image, generating the whole project. That's something that we really, really need right now. As I mentioned, we got plenty of tools, but usually we lack of time to do a precise selection, to find a perfect stock image. And this can solve this problem. We can really speed up thanks to this AI assistance. And as you can see in this one, that's text to vector. And that's really cool. That's something I want to explore very much. Text to vector. Can you imagine that? We are still waiting for vector trace in Affinity Designer, but Adobe is working on text to vector right now. That's crazy. All right. So. As you can see in this demo role, there are so many powerful features like this upscaling here by AI. That's proven method of, of re-restorizing pictures into high resolution. And seems like Adobe is really on to something here. So Adobe Firefly is this new AI just announced and I'm really will keep my eyes peeled to see how it will turn out and and how other companies will respond to that. Will Adobe be monopoly again? <laughs> will all of those alternative programs stay way behind? Or will they catch up with some free AI integration? That's also possible. So what do you think about this kind of AI assistance built into your creative apps? Comment section is for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.